You see how they have a, a one fourth in here? What we're gonna do is we're gonna factor out that one fourth. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull it out here in front. And when I do that, when you're factoring out one fourth, that's like dividing out by one fourth. What you have to do is you have to multiply by the reciprocal because multiplying and dividing are inverses. We don't wanna change the overall value of this uh, expression. So if we're dividing out one fourth, we have to multiply by the reciprocal, which is to multiply by four. So four times one fourth, of course, is one. That gives us x squared. Uh, minus one times four gives us negative four x, okay, and then negative three times four is negative 12. Okay, so are you with me so far? Okay, now you can see we have just integer coefficients in here, but we're not done yet. We wanted to see if you can keep factoring, right? So here we have to say what two quantities multiply to negative 12, but add to negative four. And you can see that that's going to be negative six and positive two. So if you were to multiply these together, you're gonna to get back this trinomial. And then what you wanna do, and sometimes students forget this, is you wanna bring that one fourth down, okay? Because if you were to multiply all this together, you'll get back the original. So factoring is just like a way of breaking it down into smaller components. But you can see, again, see how these are just integers? And we've factored out that one fourth. Okay, let's go to the next example. One ninth times x squared minus four. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna factor out the one ninth, okay, to get rid of that fraction. Okay, letter C is a little bit more challenging, so I'll get into that one next, but let's factor out the one ninth. Again, when you factor out one ninth, it's really like multiplying by what's uh, inside the parentheses by the reciprocal, which is nine. So nine times one ninth, of course, is one, that's x squared, and then nine times four is 36. Now at this point, if you're not convinced, just distribute the one ninth into the parentheses here, and you should get back the original. One ninth times 36, okay, yes, four. 1 9th times uh, x squared gives us back to 1 9th x squared. Okay, now you can see we've got a difference of two squares. So we can factor that as x plus six, x minus six, because the inside and outside terms are gonna cancel those products. And you bring down the 1 9th, so this is gonna be our final answer. Okay, and then the last one, we've got 6 fifths x squared minus 11 fifths x minus two. Okay, so here what we're gonna do is, we're gonna just factor out one fifth. Okay, so if we pull out the one fifth, we're left with six x squared minus 11 x minus 10. Okay, so you see that? A lot of times students will think, okay, I'm factoring out here, but I'm not, not factoring out of this last term. Again, what I did is I, when I factored out that one fifth, it was really like multiplying everything by the reciprocal, which is multiplying by five. So all these have been multiplied by five. Again, if you're not convinced, go ahead and distribute and you'll get back that original trinomial. Okay, but then from here, we wanna see if we can factor it further. So six times negative 10 is negative 60, right? I multiply these together. What multiplies to negative 60 but adds to negative 11? Well, let's think about that. So that would be negative 15 and positive four, right? So I'm just gonna bring down the negative 10, I'm gonna bring down the six x squared, and we're gonna factor this, okay, by grouping. So I'm gonna group and I'm gonna group. So I'm gonna factor out the greatest common factor, that's three x. Okay, I'm gonna factor out the greatest common factor here, which is just two. And you can see we're getting a two x minus five in common. So now I'm gonna factor out the two x minus five out of this group and out of this group, and we're left with three x plus two. Okay, but don't forget about the fraction. We wanna bring that down. If we were to multiply all this together, we're gonna to get back the original trinomial. Notice we just have injure coefficients here, which is what we wanted by factoring out that fraction right at the very beginning. So if you wanna learn more about factoring, I'll put a link to a video that I did talking about all different types of factoring. So if you wanna study that more, I would check out that video. Subscribe to the channel, check out some of my other past videos on Mario's Math Tutoring YouTube channel, and I look forward to helping you in the future videos. I'll talk to you soon.